guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Cherie and today I filmed a rose gold cut crease. Just something a little more on the full glam side for Valentine's Day. This is the second video in my Valentine's Day series that I'm doing and I've got a few more to come so please stay tuned for those and if you like this look then please keep on watching and I'll see you next time. So guys, to prime my eyelids, I'm just going to go in the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 and use that all over my eyelids. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Desert Sand and pop that all over the lid just to set that concealer in place. Now before we go any further, I'm just going to pop some tape on the outer corners of my eyes just to get that sharp line using the tapered E35 from Sigma. I'm just going to take Eden and pop that in my crease. Now I'm going to go in with the Buff and Blend E39 brush. I'm going to take Blazing. This will just deepen up the crease. Now I'm going to take the Small Tapered Blending E45 from Sigma and I'm going to take the shade Amber just to further deepen up the crease. In this region here, I'm blending up following the tape just so that it makes the eyes look a bit bigger and elongated as well. Now I'm going to go in with the same brush we used before and just take Saffron. I'm just going to take the E36 blending brush, take OUD, and I'm going to place that even more defined into that crease. And flicking it out. And I'm going to take that about two thirds of the way in. Now I'm going to cut that crease using a little bit more of that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm going to go in with the shade Angelic and just pop that everywhere we put the concealer. I'm actually going to take that Turkish Delight shade and put that all over the lid. Now I'm going to take a little bit of OUD and run that along the lash line just so that when we do the winged liner it's going to soften it up. Just going in with an angle brush just to clean up this darker line on top. So now we're just going in with winged liner. Just a very, very thin line. Okay, so now that we have that on, I'm going to take the tape off. So now I'm just going to take a clean makeup wipe and remove all of this fallout. I'm going to take the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm and use this to prime my face. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 120. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair and pop that under my eyes, on my nose, and on the high points of my face. Using my Beauty Blender again, I'm just going to blend that out. I'm just going to set everything in place with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm just going to do a light dusting of that. 
I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Now for blush, I'm just going to take my Morphe 9B palette and go in with the shade in the very centre. I'm just going to go in with my Becca Moonstone Highlighter. I'm just going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on before applying falsies and I'll be right back. Now that false lashes are on, I'm going to go to the bottom lash line. So firstly, I'm going to take the E45 from Sigma. I'm going to go in with a mixture of Eden and Blazing and I'm going to take that all the way across to the inner corner. I'm going to go in with the E36 and take a little bit of Amber mixed with saffron and I'm going to focus that closer to the lash line. Now I'm going to take OUD. Now I'm going to take OUD and I'm going to focus that as closely to the lash line as I can. In the inner corner I'm going to go in with the shade cashmere. I'm just going to go over that with angelic. For brow bone highlight, I'm just going to take that Becca Illuminator again on the short shader E20 and just pop it on the very arch of the brow. Now I'm going to go in with a nude lip and I'm going to take the shade Hug Me from MAC. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. Just a rose gold cut crease featuring one palette, the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Every shade I used is from this palette. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I just thought it would be something nice for Valentine's Day. I personally really like how it turned out. If you liked how it turned out, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.